All right, so our good friends from Native Instruments has released more sounds. No machine yet, but yeah, more sounds. And uh, this time it's free. So let's go ahead and check it out. Bolo. All right, before we get started, if you guys need anything for your studio, make sure you guys go ahead and click mysounds.com link in the description and get you something for your studio. They have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check, meaning all you have to do is order it, they'll ship it to you, and then you just make monthly installments on the equipment. All they just need is a credit or debit card hooked to the account so they can take the money out monthly. Now, it's not everything on the site, but it is a whole bunch of stuff on the site that you guys can go ahead and get right now with no credit or background check. So go ahead and click that zounds.com link in the video description and get you some gear today. All right, you guys know how much I rock with analog cases because they make the best cases that will protect your musical gear. However, did you guys know that they make very dope stands as well? You need to check out the XTS stands. These things are crazy. They come in two different sizes and these things are made of premium steel. If you're someone like me who uses their MPC Live 2 or if you use like a Machine Plus or a Machine or like a SP404 or even like an iPad or smaller DJ gear, these stands are made for professional musicians just like you. And the good thing about it is you don't have to break the bank to get the stands. They're very inexpensive. So if you're a musician that is looking to get a professional grade stand, make sure you guys go ahead and click Click my analog cases link in the description and get you a stand today. All right, so Native Instruments has teamed up with Jacob Collier and now they have some new sounds and it's called Audience Choir and it works inside of Contact or you can use it in the complete control. Now this is kind of dope because he actually takes choir samples from all of his shows and stuff like that and inside of the actual plugin it will show you which section of the choir that it is coming from. And it also shows you what city and everything that these choir sounds are coming from as well. Now this is a very cool instrument and they actually did us a favor. This whole instrument is only like 198 megabytes. It's actually a very fun instrument, very easy to use, and I'm gonna show you guys a few things about it right now. All right, so we are now in Studio One and we have Jacob Collier's Audience Choir pulled up and this is what it looks like. Now, if you guys have the newer S1 MK3 keyboards, you can actually use that on the newer Native Instruments keyboards and it shows up really good on there and you can actually change the parameters on there. But, you know, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be using the program, so I'm gonna show you guys most of the features that you will see inside of the program. Now, first things first, when you open it up, you see this nice picture of him in front of the crowd, and he's telling the crowd what to do. And as you guys can see right here at the bottom, these are the notes that you guys can play. Here's some percussion sounds right here in the yellow, and right here in this orange, you already have pre-made chords. So if you guys are really not players like that, you can go ahead and press these pre-made chords, but they actually have another chord function on here as well. So first things first, if we go ahead and play like one of the uh, blue keys right here, and we can play it just like any other keyboard. So you can play it just like any keyboard on there, but as you guys can hear, it's doing nothing but the ah sounds. You can actually take this little thing right here and move it up to mmm sounds. Take it to the O oh sounds right here. You can move it right here. Or you can take it to the E eh sounds. More like a I think, yeah. Or if you want to get a little bit of all of them, you can kind of just put it right here in the middle. And then if you want to take a little bit of the, the, the M's and the O's out, you can have more of the I and A sounds. And you can just kind of make it however you want, you know? You can do whatever you want to do. Now, the good thing about it is it shows you, like if you press this, you'll see what part of the crowd that is playing and it shows you what city. 
that it's actually coming from as well. So it's actually very dope. Now, um, another thing that they have in here is you have, you know, uh, different effects on here. You can add more reverb on here. You can add that in there. Um, you can do like a big haul. You can add more stereo effect. Make it real wide. And then it has a delay on here. Let me turn that up a little more. And you can go in here and you like, you know, set what type of delay and stuff like that you want on here. It's kind of cool. Then they have a timbre on here. Then you have like, you know, the triad blend on here, dynamics, attack, release. It's actually very dope for what you're getting for free. Now, one of the things I really like about this plugin is it comes with this chord generator right here. So if you guys are not really too good with playing, you can go ahead and turn on this chord generator. And what it does is if you see these blue notes right here, if I change this to maybe like E flat minor, it'll show you the chords and stuff and what to play in there. And if you play these, it automatically generates the chord for you as well. I still got that delay turned on. So if you play it now, So it plays those chords for you so you can come up with some really dope chords if you don't know how to play. I think that's dope. Let's go ahead and talk about these yellow notes right here. So these notes are actually very dope. If you play these notes, you hear that? And you have different percussion and expressions and stuff in there that's actually very dope, okay? And then of course, like I said before, if you wanna go up even higher and you guys wanna go ahead and use these orange notes. And then you actually have those chords and those different choir expressions, but they're in chords and you can use those as well. All right, so there it is. Like I said, audience choir right now is completely free. They don't even have an end date to it, so I don't know if it's going to be free forever, but if you guys want to go ahead and get it, I will put a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out Jacob Collier's audience choir right now. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.